Wizards, Witches and Muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today we're going to be doing another magical unboxing and I'm actually really excited about this because recently I did a first look video for <gasps> Hagrid's trunk. That's right. You guys seem to really like what you saw, as did I, so I'm going to be doing these on my channel for a little while. I'm very, very excited. Now this is sent to me to review for you guys just so that we all know. I also have a discount code which is magical family this means that you guys get money off and it also means that I earn a little bit of money to help keep this channel running now I'm so excited about this because the theme is dark arts also they have sent me a mystery parcel which is super heavy so I'm thinking maybe it's some of the life-size potions which were super cool I cannot wait to see what other ones they have treated me to so if you want to know what's in the dark arts Hagrid's trunk then keep on watching and if you're brand new to my channel hello welcome don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you like to come part of our weird magical online family but let's go because oh new box exciting times Okay then, I think I'm gonna dive straight in to Hagrid's trunk. I loved the candle in the last box. It burnt so well. It's in my lounge, it smells like cherries, and I just really enjoyed it. So I'm really excited to see if there's another one in here. I believe there's a candle in every box. Oh my god! I know that I love gold foiling, but there is silver foiling on this t-shirt oh oh okay so i've gone okay <laughs> i know gold foiling is my thing but they've gone for silver foiling this month and <laughs> very excited okay so dear witch slash wizard in fact i'm gonna maybe read this last because cheat sheet i the cheat sheet on tops it <sighs> I'm excited can you tell <laughs> okay I need to look at this t-shirt because okay we've got like this deep purple t-shirt I'm showing you oh my goodness what master of the dark arts oh my god I know someone who'd absolutely love this which is Sophie <laughs> oh my god it's really cool I wish it was Halloween right now because this is perfect for Halloween. Not, not that, you know, Death Eaters and stuff are just for Halloween, but this is stunning! Wow! Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit shook because I don't think I've seen many, or if any at all, t-shirts. T wow, my words today. Should I just stop? My brain is not my friend today. Okay. I have not seen that many t-shirts or if any at all with like foiling on them and this is just so beautiful the colors they all go together nicely the design is just perfect it's a perfect death eater mask I love oh gold foiling tag you guys know how I felt about that the first time so apparently we get one of these on every single t-shirt which is nice it just makes it feel that little bit more premium but this t-shirt, these are the kind of t-shirts that I have been waiting for. Yes, sorry. Um, I've been, I've just been waiting for nice t-shirts that get me excited because there's so many t-shirts that are just like, eh. But I love this. Okay, what do you guys think? Do you love this? Because it's so shiny. I am like a Niffler. Okay, let's give you a little bit more of a sneak peek. Okay, I'm gonna go straight in for the pin and is it good? Okay, these... The maker of this box is trying to give me a heart attack, I'm telling you. So we've got more foiling, which is like, okay. This is a dark arts collectible pin, and it's made from... Okay, I like this already. It says it's a wooden pin. It's got a rubber cl clasp at the back, and it's of a Death Eater mask, which is super cool. Really unique to see them being made out of wood obsessed but it says and this is the important bit pin made of responsibly sourced wood and there's a little logo there as well but just the thought that has gone into this is really cool it's kind of mirrored behind the pin can you see that shine oh she likes it okay we're off to a really good start because there's a lot of unique magic and shiny things shiny things if you love shiny things this is the box for you i will leave a link to hagrid's trunk in the description 
Okay, I don't think I'm ready for all of the other things in this box. Okay, let's go for, in fact, that's, there's a candle in here, I'm gonna wait a little bit. There is what I think might be a potion, it's quite heavy, wrapped in tissue paper, which is nice. Not a lot of bubble wrap, which is okay. That is super cool. I've never seen a bottle like it. <laughs> wow. Oh, cool. Okay, I've genuinely not got any potion bottles like this on my shelf. It is this kind of dark green looking potion in a school glass bottle. We've got a wax seal on top, which also has a skull on it. We've got a skull on the side. We've got black twine and this really nice little bead thing. And it says the drink of despair induces fear, delirium and extreme thirst. That is amazing. This is the stuff that Dumbledore was drinking in the cave, wasn't it? On the back it says, drink of despair cannot be penetrated by hand. Um, hand varnish parted scooped up. I c I'm terrible at reading font that's like old fashioned. Transfigured, charmed or otherwise is made change its nature. It can only be drained by drinking. Okay, that is very cool. This is gonna look so good on the potion shelf. I really need to get like another potion shelf. Maybe I will, I need to have a rejig of my shelves, but this is really cool. I just love that they're doing stuff that I've not seen before. Very, very cool. Okay, I'm going to then have a look at this. So we have got Tom Marvolo Riddle's Diary, which is a cute little notebook and Okay, that's a very sweet. I do love stationery and little notebooks. This is soft backed and you've got plain parchment, but it genuinely does look like kind of old parchment pages that are stained, but in a good way, like aged pages, which is very, very cool. You've got the Tom Marvolo riddle on the back, but there's also this little charm that's a basilisk fang so that you can kind of ruin the horcrux for yourself. I think that's really cute. Again, not seen anything like that before. Um, it's quite sweet. It is very cute. What do you guys think about that? It's very nice. It's a nice kind of handbag sized book. I really like that. Okay, so we have had a t-shirt, a pin, a potion, and a little stationery moment right there. And we have got the candle. So there's five items I believe in every box and you always get a pin, a t-shirt, a candle and a potion and then something else. So this was the something else and honestly I'm so excited for this candle because the first one was genuinely lovely. It burnt well. Sometimes when you get candles you'll burn them and you can't smell them and it's just like oh okay. But the Amortensia candle from the first box was so fragrant it made my entire living room smell like cherries which is you know appropriate um <laughs> and it was just really nice but ooh, okay hi i can see a wax seal on top of this which says d we've also got a little spoon okay so this might be like the little jar that i've got flu powder in where is that it's just behind there Okay, this is some bougie magical candle right here. This is the Draft of Living Death candle and oh, the foiling, the foiling, the shine. We've also got some twine around the neck of it too. So it's nice and shiny. Okay, let's see what this smells like. I'm not gonna smell it too hard in case, you know, it puts me into a long slumber. Ooh. Okay, so it's got the funky wick like the last one. They're kind of like chunky, flat and actually wood and they do a little crackle when you light them. So it's got black glitter on top, which is, I have been told that the glitter on these candles is burning safe and candle safe. Ooh, that is fresh. It's like, Blueberry, very sweet, really sweet. I cannot put my finger on that smell, but it's so good. Their candles are, mm, they are delicious. Okay, I think this one might be my favorite so far because, oh, she's fresh, she's fresh. Okay, I 
<laughs> you know what? These might be the best candles that I've ever seen in any subscription boxes that I've ever done. These candles are just thoughtful, they smell incredible, I love the wicks, and they are just very, very exciting to me. Love the wax seal on the top for Draft of Living Death, that's a really nice touch. I just really love these so much, oh my goodness. Oh, I am falling in love with this box so hard. Okay, so let's have a look at the little sheet that we got. So on the front it says, February has been a dark month with our theme of dark arts. But do not worry, raise your wand and shine a light into the darkness. Now that we have fought past the shadows, we can continue our journey into March. We are bringing you one of our favourite themes, spells and curses. Okay, I'm excited. Beautifully handcrafted products all about the most famous spells and feared curses from every diagon diagonal alley, pun intended, from the wizarding world. So that's the little card that we received at the beginning and on the back is the cheat sheet. Let's read through it. Here is a list of what you've received in February's Hagrid's trunk. The Death Eater t-shirt, which I'm still shook about because it's so shiny. This is designed by one of our in-house artists and printed on a high quality soft garment. It is very soft, yes it is. The Draft of Living Death candle, handmade by the talented team here at Hagrid's Trunk. Each candle comes with a wooden wick which crackles when burning like a wood fire. True, it does. I can now tell you that that it, it does, I have lit the first one. Scented with red berries, fruits, as well as sparkly glitter. Ooh, yeah, I could definitely smell some berries. That's why I thought blueberries, but it's a lot sweeter, so that makes sense. That makes sense that it's more than one berry. And then we have the Drink of Despair Potion, a very dangerous and dark potion with a shimmery emerald green color, perfect for sealing away some of your precious possessions. Handmade by our talented team. Do not drink. Look, look, look. <laughs> Imagine. Um, then we have the Dark Arts pin, which is so shiny. I am deceased. This dark pin once belonged to he who shall not be named. Designed by one of our talented artists. And then we have the Tom... Sorry, the Riddle's Diary. Tom Riddle's Diary. And book, oh, it's a little bookmark. My brain did not go there. So it says designed by Wizardry Workshop on YouTube. Oh, so this has been designed by my friend Danny. I did not know that they were working together. That's so, so cool. So Danny from Muggle Magic DIY had to rebrand recently. So he is now known as the Wizardry Workshop. I will leave his link down below so that you can go subscribe to him. He's very magical. Um, beware what you share as someone may be there. This is very cool. I like it a lot. No wonder the details were so high with it because Danny was involved with it. So those are the five things from the February Hagrid's trunk, which was themed dark arts, which I think is really cool because February is like the month of love, but it wasn't. It was like opposites. I really enjoy this t-shirt so much. I would love to hear your thoughts. What was your favorite thing from the February Hagrid's trunk? Leave a comment down below. I think my personal favorite is, oh, I cannot choose between the shirt because it's shiny, um, the candle because they're really good and it smells amazing, but I actually really like the pin this month as well because it's different. When do we ever see pins that look like this that are made of wood? It's very neat and, oh, it's just beautiful. Everything in this box is beautiful. It's definitely becoming a bit of a dark horse and a favorite, so. How excited, I'm so excited to burn this later. Okay, we have not ended the video yet because we have got a mystery box of goodies which I think are big potions. So here we have it. I don't know how many they've sent me or which ones. Um, let's have a look. So upon inspection, you get a little certificate each time you buy one of their big potions. And honestly, they're really, really, really pretty. So here we have it. 
beautiful very shiny so this just shows you that your potion is authentic and there's only 200 made of each of these worldwide so they're super super collectible so definitely go check them out if these are something that interests you okay the, oh my goodness they have sent me three of these I do not know where I'm gonna put these potions because they are massive. They are life-size potions and you could literally pick one of these out of Professor Severus Snape's potions cupboard and believe it. So let's get one out. This is bright blue. Okay, this one I have seen on their Instagram and it's beautiful! Oh, okay. Obviously they have to bubble wrap these because there is liquid inside of them as well as them being glass. Um, ooh. Oh my god, I didn't know there was anything inside. <gasps> what? Oh, wow. These are so beautiful. These could be like decor in your home, not just for your collection. These are stunning. Look at the flower inside. It is so pretty. And I love that they have remained true to the colour of Wolfsbane Potion. So it says an aid to reduce the symptoms of lycanthropy and werewolf free. Werewolf free. <laughs> Brewed by Severus Snape, property of Lupin. So this is Lupin's Wolfsbane potion. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Um, on the top we have another wax seal. In fact, we've got two wax seals. And there's a little wolf inside. Just the detail of these, it blows my mind. This is so pretty. It's really heavy. It feels, it just feels like a premium potion. And you can actually see the liquid move in there as well. Obviously these are decorative, you don't open them, you do not drink them. I know I don't have to say that, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> Just the labels on these are really beautiful. Again, they're just very authentic looking. They look aged, they look like they're made out of thick parchment and you can just tell a lot of thoughts gone behind them and I really am enjoying these. I can't wait to see what other ones they have sent to me. But the flower inside, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's like Aconite? Acon Aconite? Is that the flower that's inside Wolfsbane Potion? I believe it is. But um, that's so cool. Oh my god, I need to find somewhere to display that one. Okay, so we've got two more. Let's see what this big one is. scare me like that Siri oh my god my phone just went hello <laughs> go away <sighs> I need to calm down that didn't give me a heart attack I'm telling you oh wow 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 oh ho -ho. okay so this is Skelegro I have never seen a bottle like this so it's kind of made out of this pottery type thing so it's not glass it's um ceramic and it says Skelligro uh, bone regenerator bone bonified results every time a eh? sold only by Rubens Win Winicus and company this is very pretty I love the little charm that is on it we've got a little wax seal again you wouldn't necessarily think Skelligro when you see this I think normally you'd see them in skeleton type bottles like the ones they have back here but I think that's kind of nice that they're kind of going outside these stereotypes of Skelligro, but it does look like a legit bottle. It's got these kind of pink paint flecks all over it. Uh, it there's some skulls at the back and it says dreadful, disgusting. We've got a little skull on the bead right there and on the top there is also a skull and crossbones uh, with two different wax colours there. Very cool. Again, another, these are huge. <laughs> But I think this one's definitely my favourite so far today. Let's see if the third and final one can top it. Okay, so I've seen green, I've seen some red. Let's have a look inside. I've just read the word flu. That has me excited. I love flu powder. It's like potion Christmas. <laughs> Aha! We have liftoff. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Wow, can we talk about that label though? What? Look how stunning. Oh, my 
deceased um there is a wax seal on here that's custom and it says travel by fireplace and then it's kind of got gold over it that is beautiful so flu powder when traveling by flu powder it is important that you speak clearly looking at you potter uh, <laughs> take care to get out at the right great keep your elbows tucked in shut your eyes and don't fidget and don't panic and then there's some green flames at the bottom and it's by Ignatia Wildsmith quality guaranteed oh my goodness oh my god they've got another one of the travel by fireplace wax seals at the top as well and it's actually got flu powder in it this is very exciting that oh okay I cannot choose my favorite between this one and this one I think these ones really excite me a lot I did like this one but it's not very me but these two wow this is stunning i kind of want to go put this next to my fireplace my log burner not that i can jump into a log burner not that i advise to actually jump inside fireplaces or anything but this is so cool it just feels legit like here's my flu powder that i've just got from Diagon Alley. um let's go traveling really really cool i'm so excited about this I need to find somewhere really cool for these ah okay they are so excited what potions do you think that would be really cool to see in life-sized bottles because I'm trying to think which other ones that they could do and there is a lot of options but I'm interested to see what you guys would think and what you would want to be life-size this is just I love it so much. I love it. Which one was your favourite out of the three potions? Leave a comment down below and I'm going to re be replying to some of those. Okay, so that concludes today's video. I am definitely enjoying what Hagrid's trunk are doing. They definitely suck me in with the shiny foiling and all the exciting candles and the smells. The quality is definitely there and I think Hagrid's trunk are one to watch at the moment if you are into collecting Harry Potter treats and their potions I do recommend because they just give you that magic um, they feel legit they feel like I've grabbed out the wizarding world and I think they're really really exciting so I have got six of these giant potions <laughs> and three to four of them I am obsessed with so I can't wait to see what they are going to come out with next just love everything I'm kind of a little bit speechless because for everything it's nice and refreshing it's super new and I can't wait to see what's coming up next from Hagrid's Trunk. And on that note, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a magical thumbs up. This really helps our channel and our magical family out. And it'll keep growing our family, which is always really, really cool. Um, thank you if you are watching still and you've got this far. I love you guys. I hope you're doing really well. Yeah, I am good. I have some exciting things coming up in the future which I cannot wait to start and to tell you about but cool magical things are coming at some point but I'm working really hard behind the scenes and yeah anyway I hope life is treating you all well let me know down in a comment how you're doing I would love to know if you're not doing well I hope things get better soon I don't know what this is I don't normally end my videos on a little chatty chatty moment but here we are I genuinely hope you're all well so leave a comment down below let's have a little bit of a conversation see what's up with everyone and I will see you in my next video I have so got to do the Harry Potter location soon because I'm really really excited about that mm. okay we're ending to a video thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye guys flu powder Oh my god, that is so cool.